Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new tutorial here on my YouTube channel where I would want us to combine the knowledge we've gotten from watching the previous videos on how to understand color grading in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. Right, so today's video, I would want to, uh, um, like I mentioned earlier, combine all these knowledge with lens using the basic tab, the tone curve, the HSL, the split toning, and the camera calibration. So I shot this image with my Canon 5D Mark IV, the 50mm STM f1.8 at 1.8 um, with an ISO of 200 and my shutter speed at 1 over 3200. It was quite sunny and I think this was shot around 1 o'clock, so 1, 1, 7, 1, 7, yeah, 13.07 GMT, whatever time, whatever it is you guys can figure, you can just figure it out. So the sun was directly above us, so that's not really the best time to shoot, but I always say that, well, I have recently realized that the best time to shoot swimwear is at 12 o'clock and you should have a shady area which has um, some kind of light um, or whatever um, object you have should have should be able to allow light um, pass through it to create some patterns on your model so the fronts that were available the palm fronts that were available created these patterns you can see here which one will term as go will go between objects so shoot at 12 o'clock when you're shooting somewhere or high fashion just have um a patterned um, object to create um these patterns for you so as you can see this is the histogram you guys can see that um the exposure all the informations are in the blacks and the shadows right this is the exposure this is the highlights and these are the white so if i want to um correctly expose this image this is basically how it will be looking like but that's not what i'm looking for i want to grade this image to make it look earthy to make it look warm to make it look reddish and to make it look um a little bit like to make all the colors look dialed down so we have earthy in mind we have warm in mind we have toned down in mind and we have dark a bit a bit darker right so what i will do right now is open my basics up and in Adobe Photoshop um, Lightroom Classic, you realize that um, with the profile, I showed the 5D Mark IV, like I mentioned, with the profile, you have um, the profile being at Adobe Color. And when I'm color, when I'm trying to color grade, I shot this using the camera standard picture profile. So I would want to like to change this to camera standard. I've already explained this in my previous video. Kindly go check that one out. I'll link the description down below and I'll also link it's up here i'll suggest it up for you guys to go and watch it um after putting after changing the profile to camera standard you realize there has been some kind of um, change in contrast that has made the image look punchy so let me see let's take it back to adobe color you see adobe color has some information in the shadows as you can see when i change to adobe um camera standard there goes the blacks in the image and when i'm trying to color grade in lightroom i like to cycle between my before and my after so so that i know exactly what i have done and where i am heading towards so whenever i change my um profile to camera standard i realize that um it adds a bit of contrast and it bumps up the color so what i will do next is reduce my vibrance to let's say minus 11 to tone down some of the colors that are out saturated in the image now i would i'm looking out for like i said a darker toned image so i'll reduce the exposure to make sure i get some information back on her face where the highlights are right so um send it to minus 0 0.6 yeah i think minus 0 0.6 will do or minus 0 0.62 give it some contrast then make sure my highlights are toned down to let's say minus 47 or minus 42 is fine right bring up my shadows so that i can get some information within the shadows right, i think this is too much let me just minus 16 yeah and as you can see my whites are not clipping so i can bring in more information into my white 
then i reduce my blacks let's say minus two is fine so this is what i have in the basic tab when i'm trying to color grade so you can see the drastic change from this to that and so we move on to the tone curve in the tone curve i have lost quite an information here in the shadows right so i'll try and bring up some information here by adding some fade in my shadows so what you see in the shadows is that a bit of information has been added so i've actually moved up the blacks if you can see you look at the histogram it has been moved from when i turn this off this is where you see the histogram at when i turn it on the the movement from the edge here to here means i have actually taken out some blacks from the image and i have faded the image now to my hsl tab the hsl is exactly where everything goes down concerning hues concerning saturation concerning luminous this is where majority of the color grading process is um, vividly seen or well, sometimes the tone curve can also be used in such a way that it's vivid you can see the drastic change in the tone curve but in this video i would want to use the hsl tab more and the very first thing i'll tackle is the yellows i really don't like to see too much yellows in my image so um i always tackle the yellows first right the yellows bringing it down to let's say minus 50 is fine i'm looking out for an earthy toned image so the yellows are down i like it i'll bring down the greens too well drastic much yeah i think this is fine this can also pass for a grading right this is how some people look out like this is what people will also be looking out for if you're grading their image so as you can see just the yellows and the greens and there's a drastic change already but i feel like there's too much saturation on the skin so i'll just reduce the saturation on the skin which will be my orange toner range All right so the orange if if i reset it this is what you're seeing if i should bring it down to minus 27 you can see that the um the saturation on the oranges have been reduced i feel like this is kind of distracting and it's in the red so i'll bring down the reds a little bit yeah i think that's fine then maybe i don't like the blues i'm seeing here because obviously i'll crop this image to resize this image so i'll just take out the blues just in case there are blues in the white too then from there i'll bump up the luminance of the blues then like i mentioned earlier i'm looking at an earthy toned image right so i'll move the yellows towards the reds right then i'll also move the greens towards the yellow so that's what i've done what i have tackled here with the yellows will also be affected to the green so you know you guys can see how we are moving this from that to the earthy tone right so that's about it i don't think i think i would do something to my oranges to make them look a little bit more reddish yeah that's a vibe that's a vibe and yeah we're not you're not really going to tackle anything blue but just in case so the idea behind this here is that even though let's say i take down the saturation of the yellows too much and when i move the hue you can still see changes in the um yellows right even though i've taken out the saturation from the yellows so let's undo what we did yeah and i'm back to this so from here what, what else what else can i do now let's tackle the luminance whenever you want to grade a melanin skin model and you want to doubt like you, you want to make the melanin pop out a lot always try and tackle the oranges i have explained all these in my previous video so i'll just do what i have to do then i'll try and explain what i'm doing too so well i've already explained so i'm just showing you what i'll do to get that earthy toned image i'm looking out for um i think i'll bring down if i should bring down the brightness of the greens this is what i'm getting if i should bring it up this is what i'm getting so i'll uh, let it be in between the like that then maybe bring down that of the yellows and voila i'm having this beautiful um grade already so one might stop here and say they're okay with what they are getting right so if you should if i should turn you can see how drastic this has been changed 
right but looking at this i would want some reds in the mid tones so i'll come back to my tone curve come to my reds in the mid tones and i'll push in some reds and just just take a look at that not a lot of drastic changes so if you should look at here look at the yellows you can real, you realize that the floor is more it's earthy but it's more into the yellows right but here you can see that it's earthy it's into the yellows and voila every, everything is just perfect everything is just great so now let's go to the split toning i spoke about the split toning too so what i can do here in the split toning is that i'll make sure my highlights are in the cyan range so let's say 202 then make sure my um shadows i uh, i want to add some blues into the shadows right to make the image look it's warm all right but i want to add a vibe to it trying to add blues into my shadows um yeah push then all i'll do is now now that we've pushed the hue and this um the hues of the highlights and the shadows to where we want them to be the new versions of lightroom the split toning is no more all you can see is the color grading um tab right i'm yet to upgrade my lightroom to the color grading tab so that i can see how best that's going to help me in my color grading uh, um my color grading in lightroom but for now let's see what the split toning does i'll move this up so you can see the image is reddish toned right so if i want to reduce the reddish tone i'll just move this up then you can see what's happening right so now i've even added some whitish vibe to the towel dial down the reds in the image and in my shadows so look, look at look at what it does if i should move it up this is what it does so i'll just i think minus four is fine then i'll move the balance i'll move the color range balance towards the highlights more than that of the shadows so if i should toggle between this is what i am getting i feel like this is too much so i just dial this down a little bit then voila here we have this now we'll just enable lens correction remove any chromatic aberration but by doing that you still see some bits of the chroma so you come into the manual then you add an amount to it and it takes away that chromatic aberration now to my camera calibration the camera calibration tab looking here i don't really have anything to do but if i'm to play around here you guys can see if i should move it towards the greenish tint this is how the image will look like if i should move it towards the magenta tint this is how the images will look like i'm looking out for what brown earthy tone so this will be ideal right but let's add a little bit i think i have i have this is fine then in my green primary if i should move this to the left look at what it does to the skin i'm looking at a reddish brownish vibe on my skin so i'll move it to the right there we have it and i'll reduce the saturation just a little bit and pump this up just a little bit and you know this is what we have here in our image so we have moved from this to that in less than i think 10 minutes and i'm happy with what i have so if i want to move this to photoshop i'll just right click then edit in adobe photoshop cc 2019 then if what i'll do is just do some minor blemish removals then some dodging and bending to make her skin pop more then i'm good to go you can also do dodging and bending here in lightroom but i would prefer not to so from here i think i would have to crop the image to resize the image to the way i want it. i i hate what i'm seeing over here so push it up then make sure she's in the middle then bam i think we have our image so this is the before and this is the after right the before and after This is the before and this is the after. I feel like I would want to add um, some vintage vibe to this, a visco vibe. So I'll come to my effects and push up my grains. So let's say 50, uh, 46 is fine. I'll move this up to 32. So it adds a bit of vibe to it. I'll add some vignettes to this, push it to the midpoint, roundness, feather it, and 
now the center of attention is the model if you want to brighten up more there's the radial filter then i'll drag this up right push it down invert the max show so that i know where it's affecting the most um yep so done all i oh sorry I'll just come back to this all i'll do is let's turn off this then see what the effect is happening so just move up the light a little bit some shadows and add some contrast then that's done right so we have our image from here to that in adobe lightroom or adobe photoshop lightroom classic 2020 thank you for joining in on this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not and if you're new here my name is Jerry Dutch and i'm a photographer a youtuber and a researcher where i teach you guys how to color grade um retouch in photoshop and also some behind the scenes of what uh, my shooting process looks like whether indoors or outdoors so don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button leave a like um, if you found this video interesting comments down below if you have any concerns about this video and please share the video because the algorithm here on youtube is such that when people watch the video and they like the video and they comment and they share it suggests to other people to also look at this particular video so that they'll be dragged um they'll be dragged to my page to get um uh, attention to my page and also subscribe to my channel for them to also learn something new thank you once again for joining my youtube channel and i'll see you in my next video peace